Uh, so if you just tuning in and watching here, John here, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we have a big audience here. That's right, a huge uh, audience. I mean, <laughs> I'm the audience. That's right. Hey man, welcome back home. Man, good to be on. I picked the right week to come home. Yes. Look, what, look, I brought all the excitement. Yeah, man. It's all kind of stuff happening, man. I'm about to get the first one. The first one. The first now, one. Now, you're, you're from, born and raised, Cleveland. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you've never seen an NBA championship. No, nah, I ain't never seen it. No. Nah. Ever been this close? No, nah, this first game seven. Yeah. yeah. You know, we had yeah. game seven in baseball, but yeah. you know, that's that's different stuff. Never been in Super Bowl. Yeah. So this is close uh yeah. close as we gonna get. So I'm planning on being drunk next week down <laughs> Now, it's a parade down Euclid or whatever street ain't messed up because all the streets all tore up. I don't know what they gonna do to parade. Where, where the parade gonna you know, be? <laughs> we about to we got to just shut down the freeway or something. Right. You know, they do it for the movie. We shut it down for this parade. Exactly. Here, you know? And it's gonna be uh, like I said. This, this, uh, if we get it, it'll be our first championship. So we gonna tap some stuff. Oh yeah. I guarantee we gonna tap some. They gonna take the whole man, city. Just huh? gonna have to come out and say, see, that's why we can't have nice things. You know. <laughs> We gonna tear up some stuff, but yeah, it's on. It's deservedly so. That's yeah, right. yeah, man. So excited, man. Now uh, you went to Shaw. Shaw High. The Shaw mighty high. high. The yes, mighty high. The mighty high. Yes, you sir. came out when? When you graduated? Seventy-eight. Oh, Se long, long, way, way, yeah. way back. Now, were you really as nice as the lady who just called and said you was you this man, nice guy? It was. Yeah, I was nice. I just uh, sure? I just did jokes, man. Okay. I, I did. I, I was clowning, and um, I used to. Uh, Teacher, uh, I remember Miss Butler, our English teacher, she used to give me five minutes at the end of the uh, period, and I could just go up there and just do some stuff. Really? Yeah. She believed in you? Yeah, man. She, yeah. Did, she encouraged me. I, I, was, I did a couple little plays and stuff, and uh, mm -hmm. we, you know, we sang some songs, man, or just something we saw on TV. So yeah. I had that, uh, that constant en en encouragement. That's why, like, when I did get on stage doing comedy, I wasn't that nervous because I had been on stage yeah, doing plays and stuff yeah. before. So, yeah. yeah. yeah so, so did you and Steve ever do any work together? Steve. Steve Hart. No, I, I didn't meet Steve. What did I mean? I met Steve. We was in uh, Houston. Okay. Because he started, I think he started after me. I left Cleveland because mm -hmm. it was like, I started um, 83 and um, after two years, I was too big for Cleveland. I had to go. Yeah, you had go. To go. Cleveland wasn't big enough for me. <laughs> Can I go? <laughs> I gotta go. You gotta go. So okay. I, left, I, left, I left for 80. You got time to play the same clubs every week, huh? Oh, it, it was cool, but I just said, I gotta I got make a move, man, because things, things, you know, comedy was booming. So I moved out to L.A. and uh, I met Steve about three in 88, man. 88, yeah. okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, so you, you you moved in the 80s to L.A.? L.A., yeah. Okay, and, and was it, was it uh, a quick start? Was it rough at first, or did you it instantly was, get a couple of those gigs? How was it? It, it was cool, because, like, uh, what I did... I went out there. I mean, I still had some uh, road work, and I it got me apartment stuff out there. But I got like a little temp job. Okay. And uh, the people at the uh, I worked at Texaco out there at the corporate headquarters, and the lady was so cool uh, that hired me. She said, "Look, anytime you got to go on the road, go on the road. But anytime you're in L.A., you got a job." So that's how I did wow. it. So, so I set up my road work, and I knew I had this. So when I got enough road work, then that was it. And I that was, was off and running, man. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What was your first TV gig? First TV, um, I did um, I did a pilot in '92 uh, called "Move the Crowd." Uh, Margaret Cho, um, she was it. Who was it? That was a long time. Ago. Long time. Ago. You know, I was drinking. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, long time ago. This this was long, and then that night in '93, that next year I got living. Yeah, living. Yeah, so I did. I did one pilot, and then I got living. Second, I got the show. Did you know? Of course, you wanted to be successful. But did you know that? Did you have an idea that that show will still be as popular today? I mean, it's still popular today. Those reruns still air today. Yeah, and we watch them today, just like we watch Mark. That that's a major blessing right there, though, because that like that was the first gig that we had. But we knew that we had something special because it, it was something about that cast that everybody yeah. just liked. That like anytime that door opened up, somebody's favorite character was coming in. Mm -hmm. It was just a, a great little piece. Right. So we knew we had something special. But to just be this relevant this long, right? You know, Today, I, yeah, I'm feeling like George Jefferson, Jefferson or something, right? right? <laughs> you know, it's like you know, we we gonna people like Obi. You know, hey, I'm be open from now, on, man. From so, now on, yeah, that's, what I mean, it. that's it. I I got an answer to it. Yeah, you know. So. Yeah. So do you, do you still talk to some of the cast like T? Yeah, I talked to uh, I talked to everybody. I just saw uh, TC. I just seen him. Uh, I was down in Atlanta. I seen him. Um, Kim Fields. She was down in Atlanta. Uh, Kim Coles and I. We're doing Baltimore in uh, August. We still yeah. do some dates together. Yeah. And uh, saw Erica. We did. Um, 
We did a Tom Jonah thing last year. We did a family reunion down there, yeah, so the whole yeah. cast got together. Everybody except for Bessie, you know, because yeah, uh -huh. Queen, she busy. Right, 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 right. right. Like. So whenever she uh, slow down, maybe yeah. we get together and do a reunion thing. Right, yeah. that, that'll I be see hot. everybody else, talk to everybody else. That'll be yeah. hot, that'll yeah. be hot. Any kids, John? I got one. I got a little daughter, 12. Yeah, she okay. lives down in Florida. Man. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's what's yeah. happening, that's man. My, that's my baby right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Loving it, down. No doubt. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about uh, this this uh, political uh, presidential race that we have going it's, on right now. It's, it's ugly because it's like people not voting for anything, they're voting against somebody. You mm -hmm. know, it's like, yeah, uh, Trump. I like Trump, man. I don't know if he's going to be good for the country, but he's great for comedy. Yeah. <laughs> man, I, could, I would never stop. If that man was president, oh my gosh, I'd have special after special. It's just jokes coming. Because he'd just say stuff and nobody calls him on it. Like, yeah. he's like, I'm going to get the Mexican to build me a wall. It's like, you talking about the country or just some ambitious Latinos that you know, man? <laughs> Nobody doing you no favor. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, they, I read in the paper and say 40% uh, of illegal aliens, they come in by plane. So I'm thinking, how tall is this wall going to be? <laughs> you need to be building a roof, you So, you know, yeah. you, you got stuff and you got Hillary, uh, you know, so we'll see how that goes down. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, we got political stuff. But yeah, Trump, I got no problem. He's funny to me. He's funny. 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 It's just not right jokes, man. Just shut your head, man. Right jokes, man.